Hello YouTubers and Preppers, I'm Evita Cooks and Preps and today we have to talk about another powerful pantry ingredient. That's right, we're going to be talking about the ultimate condiment, garlic. This fragrant and very potent condiment has been used for centuries as a culinary ingredient. However, it's also known as the world's most powerful natural medicine. That's right. And today I'm going to show you one of the many ways this is done. Did you ever wonder long before pharmaceuticals became popular how our ancestors treated uh, your seasonal allergies, colds, and flus? Well, in those days, garlic was used as medicine. In fact, garlic has been categorized as the world's most powerful over-the-counter penicillin. It is a natural antiseptic that can help to fight bacterial and viral infections. Garlic has been used in many home remedies, such as the fire cider tonic that I shared very recently. And for the full video of my version of the recipe, I'll leave the link right up here. Garlic has the ability to warm the body, essentially our circulatory system. The warmer our bodies, the healthier our blood circulation will be, which happens to aid the improvement of the function of our most important organ, the heart. And obviously, since garlic is considered a potent and natural antibiotic, it helps to fight infection. For years, I have incorporated many of these practices in our home, and for the most part, we've been fortunate to avoid certain airborne ailments such as cold and flus. Naturally, every now and then, uh, we fall prey to the average seasonal allergies, especially here in Florida. Uh, this summer has been extremely difficult. However, we've been able to combat the symptoms using a lot of my home remedies, which uh, I'm very grateful for this knowledge and I encourage you, uh, do a little bit of research uh, and you'll be shocked to find the many different ways that you can fight infection infections or even prevent uh, infections or colds just by simply putting into practice these home remedies that are available to you in just about every local supermarket and garlic is one of those uh, ingredients and one of those home remedies that I put into practice quite a bit aside from the fact that we enjoy the taste of garlic overall and I hope this encourages you to at least do a little bit of research of the different ways that you can help your family stay and remain healthy or even prevent uh, colds and flus during this rough time of the season. If you've been with me for a while then you know that I have a pre-existing heart condition and that's one of the reasons why I'm always searching for natural ways to improve my overall health and this happens to be one of my favorite. I have one here that I've been going through because a few weeks ago my youngest son came down with the seasonal viral infection. Immediately I started him on a regimen of apple cider vinegar, elderberry syrup, and I pumped his immune system with just about everything I had in my arsenal, vitamin C, D3, you name it, I tried it, and naturally uh, I made good use of every natural remedy that I had available so that I can help him fight and combat some of those symptoms. So today I'm going to show you how this is done, and you'll be shocked just how easy it is. It's basically going to take less than five minutes to do, and if you try this recipe at home, or you have your own recipe, or other ingredients that you add to the recipe, feel free to share that in the comments below. I'm always eager to learn new ways, new tricks and new forms of medicine that, that I can treat some of these ailments naturally at home without the need to run to the doctor or the pharmacy uh, and pump our bodies with more chemicals or more medications. As it is, I'm already on a very strict medication regimen for my heart condition. So anytime I can avoid taking more medications, I'd rather treat the symptoms at home. So feel free to share with us your home remedy. And if there's something you would like to see on this channel, leave the comment below the video as well and I'll be more than happy to put something together for you. For this recipe, obviously we're gonna need garlic and you wanna make sure you use the freshest garlic possible. Organic is always best. You want to make sure you don't use anything that's been treated with chemicals or pesticides or any of that junk. And we're also going to need some raw honey that I always keep in an amber jug like this. And this is one of my favorites. And I'll share the link of the honey that I use in the description box below the video. And I'm also going to share the link of the tutorial and video for the many uses and benefits of raw honey so that you can check it out and also the different ways that you can use raw honey to make medicine for a better overall health. The way I 
like to do this because even though this is a very simple process and very easy to make, it does take some time for the garlic and the honey to become medicine. So what I have put into practice is anytime I pour one or two jars of this, in this case I went through two different jars during the time my son was sick, um, I like to make another batch because we do have to uh, allow this to sit in our pantry or our fermentation room for at least two weeks. I like to keep mine for anywhere between four to six weeks before I start using it. Anytime I go through one jar, then I start making another one just in case uh, we need it. So that way I always have it going and I never run out of the honey infused garlic. So the first thing you have to do is peel the garlic and I save the garlic paper or peel to make a tea. If you use organic garlic, you can drink the tea, which also contains medicinal properties. Today I'm using the tea to water the plants in my garden. Keep in mind that if garlic is good medicine for our bodies, then without a doubt, it works the same way to strengthen the garden. here's the side-by-side -side comparison this one that we have right here we made several weeks ago as the uh, honey and the garlic infused the honey liquefies which is a normal reaction um, and over here we have the one that we just made and this one has been a couple of hours since I made it but I just wanted to show you just how much uh, it's thinned down and uh, also I wanted to remind you that at least once in a while, especially if you make uh, big quantities of this and you keep it in your pantry for later use, uh, it's always a good idea uh, to shake it once in a while and also burp it. Take out the lid and just let some of the air out. Remember, honey ferments very easily, especially in these types of infusions. So it's very important that you burp it so that you don't run into any issues. That's always a good practice with most fermentations. But check it out, this one right here, um, maybe if you look closely, you can see that it's bubbling. It's still going through a fermentation process. I try to use uh, my good honey for these types of fermentation projects. But check it out, it's very interesting how it just changes. And that's also going to depend on the type of honey that you use so keep that in mind. What I like to do is I like to take about a teaspoon a day as a preventative measure um, and also when my kids are sick or if we're sick uh, we take it two to three times a day. Remember that garlic has been used for centuries as a natural home remedy and medicine. And as always, I'd like to remind you that I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV. It's always important to do your own research and consult your doctor before trying any of these remedies at home. For more natural medicine ideas, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Consider subscribing to the channel, like, share, and comment for the YouTube algorithm, and activate the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And until next time, I'm Evita, Cooks and Preps. Bon Appetit! You really have to try it.